What does it mean to be the body of Christ? As you drive past Monroe Street United Methodist Church, you may notice some construction taking place on Bluff Street. Two new tiny houses, 400 square feet each, are springing up, bringing a fresh face to an old neighborhood. These tiny houses are the building blocks for what will soon become Bluff Street Village. Bluff Street Village was inspired by the tiny homes that Cass Community built in Detroit. We uh, were looking at this street, Bluff Street, that have, was basically abandoned. All the houses have been torn down and it was an example of urban decay and said, what can we do with it? And it just seemed like the idea of the tiny homes for low-income people made lots of sense, especially the idea that they could become homeowners. The vision of Bluff Street Village has inspired some in our church to get involved. I am passionate about uh, Bluff Street because uh, it's the most uh, act action-oriented event. I think it's a fabulous ministry that uh, Larry has created that uh, can help folks who are really financially marginalized and help them to build to become more self-sufficient and build equity uh, in themselves and in, in their future. I really love the Bluff Street Project because it's so tangible and so practical. This is an opportunity for us to give back to our own community in a way that we can see and feel a part of. It takes a lot of people to make a mission like Bluff Street Village come to life. Financial gifts are an important part of the mission, but there are many other ways to contribute as well. I like I like building things <laughs> and and uh, helping folks out, and I think it's just a really really awesome worthwhile cause. Well, it's, so far it's just been fairly um, minimal with just helping Larry uh, get insulation uh, on the walls. As a group. Quilters love to make quilts for people because it's a way to show love and literally they can wrap themselves in something that was made with love. In the end, Bluff Street Village is not about building houses, it's about building community. One of the great things about Bluff Street Village is the idea that we are creating a community. We're not just having people rent houses, but we're having people learn to live together as, as a community. They will be a part of a, a tenants association, which will eventually become a homeowners association as they uh, own their homes after seven years. They will meet together to uh, attend uh, workshops. Uh, they will hopefully help each other out uh, on life issues as they learn and grow together. And a, feature of the neighborhood is that right in the middle of the block there'll be a small neighborhood park which folks can gather at. And of course each of our houses have front porches on them and we're going to encourage folks to sit out front so that they can say hi to one another as they go up and down the street. This is one way Sylvania First is living out our mission, building life-changing relationships through and with God. Churches have been the backbone of this project so far, particularly Sylvania First and Monroe Street Church, but lots of other individuals who are active in their churches have contributed as well. So if churches want to be involved, they can sponsor a whole house or they can contribute uh, toward the furnishings of the house. We'll have different ways for churches to be engaged uh, as they uh, see the vision and want to be a part of it. This is what it means to be the body of Christ.